One of the most remarkable things, I think, is that it's been underwritten by taxpayer dollars. It's like we're going up against Goliath, and we really lose almost every time. I'm really worried about what's going to happen in this country if we don't sort of wake up. This is an area in which social change is not only possible, but highly desirable, and they get to eat it for dinner. <laughs> What's my favorite food? Uh, I don't want to say goat, but, you know. <laughs> the food is a key environmental issue, an issue of social welfare. If we're not careful, we're going to wake up someday in this country and realize we are completely dependent on our food supply to a few but very large agribusinesses. Social activism does not need to be going out in the middle of the street and banging on a drum. Social activism can be making a good meal. I think it's beyond just telling people to eat organic. Now it's about who's growing your food, you know, are they part of your community, are they invested in the health of the community, and how can we get communities to own their food system? It's a way to help transform society. They're designed to eat healthy, good, flavorful, delicious food. That's why we have taste buds. If we were just supposed to eat paste, we wouldn't have taste buds, right? Volunteers of America! Volunteers of America!